Thank you very much for, for, for joining us. I guess uh, nine months after um, this incident started, um, a lot of South Africans have been asking questions, where is our government? Is it involved at all? Does it even care? Yes, our government does care. Uh, our ambassador uh, from Saudi Arabia, who is uh, also assigned to Yemen, has been visiting Yemen, had a lot of discussion with uh, the government of Yemen, the prime minister and the president, and expressed our concern. And we have appealed to the kidnappers to release the Korki couple unconditionally. Uh, what we did immediately when they were kidnapped, we brought the children back home uh, without making any publicity about it. And uh, we facilitated their return. And uh, we have been quite concerned. Of course, wherever South Africans have been kidnapped or whatever happens to South Africa, the South African government is quite concerned about it and give whatever assistance it could, uh, diplomatic and whatever assistance that they could give to South Africans. But obviously you're not dealing with the government here, you're dealing with a terrorist group that probably, um, that in fact won't listen to a government. Are there alternative channels that you are perhaps pursuing? Well, we must congratulate, uh, we have no direct contact with, the, with this group, the Al-Qaeda group. Uh, we, they did contact the gift of the givers, who, which has been doing a lot of work in the country. And we must congratulate the Gift of the Givers for taking that initiative. We fully supported the initiative of the Gift of the Givers, and they had some contact with the kidnappers, which resulted in the release of Mrs. Corky. And, and, and we are pursuing that channel as well. Uh, uh, I am going back, to, I am going to, to Yemen in a few days' time to, to have discussions with the government of Yemen and also to see what we could do to assist uh, the release of Mr. Corky. Take us through why uh, governments are reluctant, because uh, I mean, a lot of people may still uh, be sort of dumbfounded as to why it has taken so long for you to go to Yemen. I mean, why are you going to Yemen only now? Take us through why, why are governments reluctant to speak to groups such as Al-Qaeda, for example? Well, look, I mean, the government do not want... Of course, the government will negotiate with Al-Qaeda if it is in the interest of its citizens. Uh, our ambassador has been there constantly and he has kept us informed about the discussion that he has had with the government of Yemen. Uh, of course, you know, governments uh, uh, do not want to pay ransom. There's a demand for ransom. As a matter of principle, the South African government, I think nearly all or many governments in the world do not pay ransom. I suppose some do quietly. Uh, but I don't think that it, that it is in the interest uh, of, of governments and their citizens to pay ransom to kidnappers. We have to appeal to the kidnappers that what they are doing doesn't further any cause. And, 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 and it's, of course, in a violation of all international law and norms and values. And we want the kidnappers to unconditionally release people who are kidnapped. Now, you're going to Yemen this weekend. Um, is there anything you're going to be doing differently or something that hasn't been done um, hitherto? Well, I don't think I'm doing anything different. But, I mean, since uh, Yolanda has been released, there is some hope now, there is some channel that we have uh, which we are going to pursue to see that Mr. Korki is released. Uh, we think the demand for ransom is, 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 uh, is unreasonable, is not acceptable, is not acceptable to the government. Uh, I'm not sure what the family would have to say if there's any ransom to be paid is the issue of the family, but as far as the government is concerned. But we will support the family whatever decision they take. Even, uh, even, if, even if that decision uh, means um, raising the ransom? Well, look, we if, the family, them, uh, well, if the family wants to raise the ransom, it's, it is their issue and their problem. And I don't think any government would then uh, oppose. Our, our task is to support South African citizens to see that uh, whoever is kidnapped is released. And we will give all 
material and moral support, not in the sense of giving money to ransom. We had uh, arranged for Mrs. Korki to, uh, to come to South Africa. Our ambassador was there immediately. We hosted them. We, we made sure they got proper medical and psychological treatment. And we made sure that they were immediately united with the family. And we will give whatever assistance we could to the Korki family. But do you know who you're dealing with? Yeah. Well, look, I think uh, <clears throat> we are dealing with extremist elements, with Al-Qaeda elements. Uh, uh, it seems that, uh, that uh, there, there are a number of these extremist elements uh, uh, linked with probably some type of tribal elements there. Uh, kidnapping is a crime, I think it's, it's an international crime, and, and, and whoever kidnaps, you could see that uh, for whatever reasons uh, uh, they're kidnapping people, it doesn't advance their cause or any other people's cause. So I think we are dealing with extremist elements, and we wish to appeal to them. Uh, uh, they treated Mr. Yolandi well, and, and, and we are happy that she was released unharmed. But I think that uh, they should, for you, on the basis on for uh, on a human on humanitarian basis to to release Mr. Korkea. Is there anyone? Is there any other government or any forces that may be closer to Al Qaeda or something like that you're working with that you're hoping um, will be able to assist you in your in your mission? Well, no, we don't. Uh, we haven't appealed to any other governments. I know in the past, uh, uh, when people were kidnapped, the other governments got involved on their own without us asking any governments uh, to get involved. But at the moment, no, at the moment we are just dealing with the government of Yemen to see what they could do to appeal to the kidnappers to release Mr. Korki. Deputy Minister, thank you very much. We wish you all the best in your mission.